loosely speaking, a function can be viewed as a black box accepting an input and returning an output. The picture here represents that view. Say you have an element u from some set x, and we take that as the input to the function f, and it returns f of u, an element in some set y. Here, x is the set of all possible inputs, and it's called the domain of f. And the set y is a set that contains all possible outputs of f, and it's called the codomain of f. Notice that we don't require y to be exactly the set of all possible outputs of f. The set of all possible outputs of f is called the range of f. If the range of f is equal to the codomain, then f is called an onto function or a surjective function. There is a notation for specifying function that encapsulates the information of the domain and the codomain. We would write f colon x right arrow y to specify that f is a function with domain x and codomain y. Let us now look at a few examples. Consider the function with domain and codomain both equal to the set of real numbers. And say it is given by f of x equals x squared plus 1. We're going to determine the range of f. First of all, f is not on 2. That's because x squared is non-negative. So x squared plus 1 is going to be at least 1 for all real numbers x. Thus, the range of f cannot be all of the real numbers. And that implies that f is not subjective. All the outputs of f must be at least 1. But is every value at least 1 in the range of f? Let y be a real number at least 1. Because y is at least 1, we can set x to be the real number, the square root of y minus 1. And with this x, f of x will be the square of y minus 1 all square plus 1. And that gives you y minus 1 plus 1, and that's equal to y. So the output of f can be any value, at least 1. Now, a function with domain and codomain equal to the set of real numbers is a single variable real variable function, and that's usually the kind of function that is seen in high school math. Now, let's look at a function with domain very different from the set of real numbers. This time, we're going to let x be the set of quadratic polynomials in x with real coefficients. So in set notation, it's written like this. The function that we're going to consider is the following. So the codomain is going to be the set of real numbers, and x is the domain. And the function f is given by f of ax squared plus bx plus c equals a plus 2b all squared minus c. What is f of x minus 2? Well, x minus 2 is certainly in the set x if we rewrite x minus 2 in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. So there's no x squared term, so we can say this is 0 times x squared, and x is 1 times x, and minus 2 can be written as plus negative 2. So f of x minus 2 is simply f of 0x squared plus 1x plus minus 2. And now all we have to do is just plug these numbers into a, b, and c respectively. So I have 0 plus 2 times 1 and all squared minus minus 2. And this gives us 2 squared plus 2, which is 4 plus 2, and that's equal to 6. Before we look at the final example, let us look at a new notation. Suppose that a is a set and n is a positive integer. Then a superscript n denotes the set of all n tuples whose entries are elements of a. 
So for example, Z superscript 3 will be the set of three tuples such that all the entries are integers. Hence, something like 1, 2, 3 in a tuple is instead 3. But something like 1 half 0, 0 would not be an element of Z superscript 3 because 1 half is not an integer. Now let's consider the following function. And suppose that it is given by f of the tuple ab is equal to 2a minus b. So what this function does is, it takes a two tuple and then forms the output by multiplying the first entry by 2 and then subtracting the second entry. Now we claim that f is an onto function because we can get any real number as output. How do we see that? If you look at 2a minus b and suppose that b is set to 0, clearly 2a can be any real number. So more formally, we can write this as f of y over 2, 0 is 2 times y over 2 minus 0. And that's just y. So the range of f is all of r. And we conclude that f is an onto function.